good. All right, good evening, Inspire Beauty. Happy Monday. It is October 8th. We are cruising into October. And um, tonight, as we're talking through some things, tonight is kind of a little bit of announcements coming off of leadership because if uh, if you didn't see last this past weekend was the leadership event for five-star elite coaches um, who were five-star elite either at the cutoff of last year or have already earned that ranking for their team uh, in August. I believe the end of August was the cutoff for that. And so there's a leadership event where they're all invited. It's like a summit, but it's only for the tip, tip, top people in the company. Um, and so coming off of leadership, uh, there are some announcements just like at summit, there would be announcements. So I wanted to share those with you tonight, make sure that we're abreast to that. And then I want to chat through real quick, the prove it to you shift shop, uh, group, because you might've seen that I went in there today and added stuff so that it's kind of ready to go. I deleted all of the old content that was in there and just got it ready for a brand new, fresh set of eyes. Uh, obviously there's a ton of there's a hundred plus people already in that group, but we can absolutely keep plugging new people in. And I want to help guide you as to how to make that happen both in this zoom, but also, um, it'll be, I'll be guiding you on the team page throughout this week. And then the thing I want to wrap up with is kind of the content, just a quick little snippet of content tonight. And it came about as I was having a one-on-one -on -one with a coach, uh, recently, and she was having trouble understanding what she should post about and she's frustrated because it was taking her over an hour to create one post and then you know for what like that one post didn't get that much traction and then you know the, her day was gone she had to go to work that was her power hour you know and she didn't even get to talk to anybody and so she's like I'm stuck with posting and so there were a couple little nuggets that I gave to her some bits of my wisdom and she was like are you serious this is money and I was like, you know, I haven't shared this with you guys in a while, so here we go. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to share the screen. We'll get into it. Um, and yeah, and then we'll get this, this party rolling. So first thing is new launches coming off from leadership. Three launches happened, three things that uh, you may have seen. Um, and Energize sticks are coming out in December, okay? So like how Crystal Light has those little sticks that you can then pour into a, a water bottle, this is exactly what that is. This comes in 32 packs as opposed to the 40 servings you get in the scoop containers, but this is a, a really great option. I know that if I was still in the classroom, this would be my go-to. I'd throw so many in my purse. This also would be great for giveaways. So if you are, um, if you're on Energize Home Direct, maybe in December you want to switch to the 32 sticks rather than the, the canister so that you can also use these as giveaways, little prizes and free groups, um, just good things, or even just for people if they really want to try it out. Um, FAQ 4298 gives you more information about these stick packs, but also coming in February, they've launched a new flavor of Energize Fruit Punch. And uh, I'm kind of excited for that one. So, uh, but that's not coming until February of the new year. Also coming around this time, you guys, starting in March and April, you're going to be able to purchase the ultimate portion fix. And basically what I'm gathering from this is that the ultimate portion fix is something that's like, uh, kind of like to be mindset in the sense that it takes you through video trainings so that you understand uh, how to use the fix containers, the portion fix system. Great resource and tools for our challengers, absolutely. But when you order the portion, the ultimate portion fix, there are a bunch of things that come with it. There's a new uh, Fixate cooking book, uh, the, the original. They've got a second edition coming out. There's a PDF for children to add in for the little ones. Um, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. But included with that, if you do end up doing the ultimate portion fix, you get to then be a part of the refilming of 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme because Autumn Calibres learned through 80 Day Obsession that people are craving this real time program. They want to do the program in real time with the, with the cast. And so they are refilming 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme in real time. Uh, and there will be a live feed for the people uh, who are, who purchased the ultimate portion fix. I believe it's between, there's, 
the dates are, are clear on the FAQ, but between March and, and April, okay? And then you get to be a part of the real-time live streaming of these two workout programs that they are kind of upgrading. It's so funny. I was reading through this FAQ prior to this, and it was talking about how the 21 Day Fix came out and was revolutionary five years ago. And I'm like, wow, that's so crazy. That's right when I was a brand new coach was when this program came out. And this was actually one of the very first programs that I did start to finish. And, um, and it made me fall in love with lifting weights. I never really thought that I should lift weights as a woman. And this is one of them that taught me that that was totally okay. So kind of fangirling over here that, um, that there's going to be some new 21 day fix workouts coming. Cause I could totally recite them by heart at this point, five years later. Okay. Moving into the prove it to you shift shop challenge guys. I want us to take advantage of this flash sale and challenge. If you are trying to decide, should I invite people to, the balanced and beautiful group starting next monday or should i invite people to the shift shop group starting on the 22nd my answer for you would be invite people to the shift shop group starting on the 22nd this is why number one i've laid out clear as day this whole week in our team page i've laid out daily social media challenges posts and scripts and follow-ups and uh today you guys got your hands on the um canned response email that you can send to people who want to be a part of this group you guys literally laying it all out for you so if you feel frazzled if you feel like oh like i don't know like i i don't know you know how to hit success club or i'm stressing out about this or i don't have time for this this should be then your main focus every Thing that I do you guys it's in week increments so this week I'm posting and giving I'm breadcrumbing nuggets about this next week it'll be a little bit more intense as I'm trying to plug people in this week it'll be more about breadcrumbing uh, getting people the free workout to try shift shop next week it'll be more breadcrumbing about getting in people's heads about proving it to themselves before the year is over I'll talk a lot next week in my social media about you know weight gain over the holidays uh, seasonal depression. I'll talk about stressors in the holidays and that putting yourself on the back burner does nothing to help any of that. Right. And so I'm going to get in people's heads more next week. This week, it's more about getting those free shift shop workouts out to my people. That's what I want to gift them so that they have a chance to try it before they even buy it. Right. So if you're wondering, Brittany, like, what should I do? Do this. It's literally being laid out for you. Okay. The flash sale group, you guys is running next Monday, a week from today. And I put through October 18th, but it's really going to be through the end of Friday. So it'll be Monday through Friday. People will be in that group. Energy will be pumping. Sales will be going. I will be in there each day counting down like, Hey, you know, we'll be ringing the bell. That's another thing. I want to take a pause here and just go off on a mini tangent guys ringing the bell. When I want you to ring a bell and celebrate or sound the alarm and celebrate, I literally mean, I want you to come and pat yourself on the back and toot your own horn. Because if Brittany's the only one that celebrates when Brittany gets successful points, I look like a jerk. <laughs> like that's all it is. I just look like I'm full of myself. So when you get successful points, please sound the alarm in our business builders page. When you have a new challenger in the prove it to you flash sale, celebrate them. Like this stuff goes a long way, you guys. And if it's just me doing it, it doesn't matter. It looks like me, myself and I, and that's literally never my heart for any of this. Okay. Tangent over. So in this group, we'll be ringing the bell. We'll be celebrating people. So this is what you need to do. First of all, you need to be joined into this group. It's called the prove it to you challenge, but it, this isn't the actual challenge group. This is just the page to get people the information about the challenge. The actual challenge will be happening in the challenge tracker app. Okay. So this is just to get this. This is literally, Hey, I think you'd love this. Can I add you to this group where there's more information? This takes away all of the guesswork from you having to like spoon feed information to people and have those conversations. Literally when somebody's interested, you say, great, I'm going to put you in this group or you give them the link of the group to get added into it. If you're not friends with them on Facebook, right? So number one, follow and participate in all the daily social media challenges this week on inspire beauty. I posted the first one today and it's what I did last night in my, um, 
I did it on Instagram and I did it on Facebook and I've been sending the message. Now, if you don't get people, this one asks for them to drop an emoji and then you'd send them more information. Um, if they don't drop an emoji and they just like it or love it, still send them a private message, but just tweak the, the script a little bit to let them know, hey, I didn't want to miss you because I noticed you showed love on this post. Didn't know if you were interested or not in joining us, right? Um, number two, get into your inbox and send personal one-on-one -on -one messages. So do the challenges I'm asking you to do each day. Tune into that at 5 a.m. each morning. They should launch. Second, get into your inbox and send those personal one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one messages to your people, inviting them to learn more in our flash sale. Okay. If you're in our business builders page, I shared this document with you guys about the October success club and the 30 invites. You should be putting these names down as you see them liking your stuff, watching your story, taking your poll, whatever the case may be put their name down on this list so that you can make sure you're tracking who you've invited into this flash sale to learn more. And then three, you add your people into this group and then tag them under the welcome video. It's not really a welcome video. It's just a, it's the, um, Oh, what do you call it? Like the pinned announcement. Um, there's not really a welcome video this time because in place of the welcome video, you guys, if you saw, I put the free workout in there. Now, I've shared this free workout with people already. The Shift Shop workout, it's very easy to access. They just go to Beachbody.com and you can give them the link. The link is in there as well. But when they go to Beachbody Beachbodyondemand.com slash Shift Shop workout, whatever, whenever you send them the link, I'm pretty 100% sure that they are going to have to create a free account and they're going to need your coach ID in order to do the workout. I've had somebody already do the workout and she came back and asked me what my coach ID was because she needed it in order to access that. I'm pretty 100% sure. So also include, you know, when you're having these conversations, just so you know, so you're aware, I think they need your coach ID. So make sure that you don't leave them hanging on that information. Okay. Don't wait for them to ask you be proactive and share it with them. So all week long, you're focusing on getting people into this group. You can continue adding people into the group all the way up through October 18th. And by October 19th, that's when we are wrapping up sales in that group because the challenge group is starting on Monday, the 22nd. You guys in this group, I want to stop share for a second and take you into that group. Um, do, do, do. Inside this group, you guys, where are we at down here? So this is the welcome post, the announcement. It's where I put a bunch of uh, transformations. And then if you go down here, here is the free workout for them to click on. So whenever you add somebody in the group, you can tag them here. If you've already added people to the group in the past, like if you look here, guys, there's 105 members in this group. If you've had somebody in the past added to this group, um, then I would retag them right? I would retag them. And when you go to members here, you should be able to see who added them into the group. Yeah. Uh, let's see if it says added. If you can't remember who you've added, it should show you next to the person's name who they were added by though. Okay. Anywho, back to the discussion here. So after this announcement, there's all the options. Now I helped you out this time, you guys. Normally in a flash sale, this flash sale is a flash sale because the product is on sale anyway. It's $20 off this month in any pack. So that's kind of where the flash sale is coming in. But there's an added incentive to take action within the walls of this group, okay? And the added incentive is a gift card. Now, there's two parts to this. So I want to make sure that everybody's clear on what you are contributing to your people. The bonus drawing for the water bottle and a $20 Target gift card will come from me. You don't have to worry about that. But if there is a gift beside the option, that is on you. And that's, you can decide when you're going to give that. Maybe it's at the end of October. Maybe it's after they've completed Shift Shop. Maybe it's upon purchase of their challenge pack. You will, you will take that up with your people, but make sure you're consistent with whatever that is. I did a, a, a favor. And the very first option, you guys, is no gift card. All their gift would be is the bonus gift is an entry into the bonus drawing. So if they just do the basic challenge pack for 160, you won't have to worry about adding on a gift card. And I did that on purpose because I know that sometimes that scares away our coaches from actually participating in these because you don't want to 
have to give away gift cards that maybe you can't financially um, hack at the moment, okay? So I took that away. Option two is when you would be responsible for a gift card and it's a $10 Amazon gift card, you guys, okay? Option three, is the is basically the mega pack right the one that comes with everything and you'd be responsible for a fifteen dollar gift card if somebody purchases option three from you okay now option four this is where the money's at guys and this is where i would push your people especially my ladies who are trying to go emerald or who are trying to go diamond this is where i would say hey listen if you do option four, you're gonna get a $20 gift card from me. Doesn't matter which pack they do, they'd get a $20 gift card. Plus, they would, and the, it's down here, they would get access to train with the creator of Shift Shop, Chris Downing, in the test group. They would be able to join Inspire Beauty and have VIP access to any and all events hosted by our team, including meetups, virtual sweat dates, book clubs and more guys there's a lot of perks to being a part of inspire beauty beyond just like saying i'm a coach right you don't just have to tell you oh you're you're a coach like option four means you're a coach no you have an option to come out to a yearly annual event meetup every year we meet up and we sweat together in person every quarter we have local meetups super saturday guys right we're about to have a local meetup super saturday so local meetups okay we do book clubs every month. We pick a book and we get on Zooms on Saturdays, right? We've got book clubs going on. We do virtual sweat dates, guys. We've done botathons. We always get swag to go with it usually. Like we pick out a new tank top to make for the event. Last year we did a botathon right at the new year. Um, we did the beach, uh, not beat your best, but I can't remember what the, the one was called. Maybe somebody can help me out on this, but the one that, um, uh, Carl kind of initiated where you worked out and you had to do, I think it was like three consecutive beach body on demand workouts back to back. We did that all together on a zoom guys. There's perks. So like, think of those things. Like don't, I think sometimes we get so like you, you can be a coach and you pay 1595 a month to be coach. No, like stop saying that scary weird stuff and start telling people like the true, like awesome things about being a part of this team, virtual meetups. You have a sisterhood. You've got people who are there to lift you up even when you're having a craptastic day, right? Like those kind of perks. And then the option also comes with a 25% discount on all products. So option four here, notice I didn't really say be a coach. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't tell them that, but this is, these are like perks beyond just saying, oh, and you, there's an option to be a coach at the same time, right? So getting out of that. So I'm hoping that this helps you with a, a little bit with your verbiage when you're talking about the benefit of joining as a coach at the same time, right? And with this one, of course, the benefit is that they get to be in Chris Downing's test group when they claim this one. So option four is any of those challenge packs, number one, two, or three, but becoming a coach upon enrollment. And if they do that, you will gift them a $20 Amazon gift card. So they will not get, you guys, whatever gift card was associated with the pack. They would get just the $20 Amazon gift card, okay? Hopefully there are no questions on that, but you can start plugging people in at any time, you guys, and start um, – commenting, putting them under here, tagging them under the transformation pictures to get them rocking and rolling. Okay. I think that's all the info I need to give you on this for now. Like I said, you can start adding them in at any time. And then um, starting Monday is when I'll get in that group and start making it, uh, getting a little more energy rolling, okay? All right. So tonight, let's talk about posting, posting like a boss. And it all starts, you guys, with your bio. This is kind of the one-on-one -on -one, um, call that I had the other day. And I, I opened up the lady's bio that we were, um, that I was talking with. I opened it up and I rattled off. She's like, I don't know what to post about, Brittany. Like, I just, it takes me over an hour. And then I just, I don't even know if it makes any sense. And then it doesn't get that much traction. And it just feels like a waste of my time. And so I read her bio and I know that these might be um, a little difficult to see here, the ones that I had pulled up. But her personal bio had great things like this. And if you guys aren't looking at and seeing some of these like, uh, nuggets of like how you can like bullet point what this person is all about. This is the way to be doing it. 
So if you open up your bio right now and it doesn't look kind of like this format, um, I'm going to highly encourage you to start prepping that and putting, making it look like this. Okay. And I'll talk about why in a second. But I looked at it and she did have this, which I was, I was very proud of. There was a lot of information. There were, there were some nuggets about her, some little snippets. And I said, okay, so for example, let's pretend that it was this, that it was mine. I was like, so it shows that you're a dog mom, but I'm scrolling in your first nine to 12 posts, guys, like the first nine to 12. I'm not going all the way back in the archives of time. I'm just looking at the first like nine or 12 that come up right on my screen on like the first little scroll. I was like, I don't see it. I don't see your dog in any of these. It says that you're a pizza and wine lover, but mm, I don't see pizza, I don't see wine, and in fact, I don't even see any food. Uh, Jesus and coffee obsessed, hmm, I don't see anything with that. And you're married to Charles, okay, he's not in any of these pictures, I don't see anything about being married, and self-care, hmm, I don't see you caring for this. So I was like, I went down her bullets, and nothing was what she posted about in the last nine to 12 posts. And I said, the problem is, it's not that you don't have anything to post about. It's that you're not actually utilizing your bio to your advantage, you guys. I hope you're getting this. So first and foremost, guys, your bio needs to be visually appealing. It's funny that I picked these. These are people that, well, I don't actually follow them, but these are coaches that I look up to in the network and that I will go look at for inspo or for just like trends and whatnot. Um, and then we've got our own Miss Natalie here as well, because she's rocking it on here. Um, but if it's funny, cause you see a certain like trend. Now, do you have to have pink on your thing? No, um, you don't have to, but I, obviously it looks like the people that are my jam also like the color pink, but it's visually appealing. Okay. There is a cohesiveness to everything. So she has little, uh, like graphics on top of hers. Same thing here. Um, Natalie and myself are using a certain font on ours and the colors of each of these are the same. Um, hers are the same color and they all have a word and the word matches exactly what's under it. Okay. So it's very appealing on the eye. It explains what they do. So look up here inspiring women to be their best selves. The first second somebody comes to my page, they know that if they're, if they're gonna watch me, they know that I'm inspiring women to be their best selves. So whether it's in business, whether it's in life, whether it's in relationships, whether it's as a dog mom, a mom mom, a teacher mom, like no matter who you are, as a woman, I am going to inspire you to be your best self whether you like it or not. Um, Ashley's does, oh, her, she does tell us what she does. She's passionate about helping women live a life they love without waiting on, waiting on the weight. Oh, like waiting for their weight to drop, basically. So she's passionate about helping women live a life they love, like today. Okay, cool. Let me see here, Amy. Um, she doesn't exactly tell me what, but she does have a very extensive uh, list of who she is and what she's about. Here, sharing my journey transparently in these little pictures and captions. Um, and then Natalie, if I could give her any bit of feedback, it would be to add in a little blurb like that. I did not put Natalie on here, though, to put her on the spot in that way. <laughs> I think she's a rock star. I think this looks really great. Um, okay, so down here, I know who they are. So I know what they do. Like each one of these is telling me like a snippet of what they do. What am I going to get when I follow you? When I click follow, what do I, what do I, what do I get from you? But I also want to know who you are. And that's where all of these coaches, they bullet point in three to five things who they are. Ashley likes fitness, loves to party, and she's a brand new mama. Okay. Courtney loves Jesus. She's a basketball wife, travels, fitness, and she's a mentor. Natalie, Jesus first, wife, boy mom, homeschool family, dog mom. I know exactly who she is and what I'm going to see. Amy, fitness enthusiast, clean eating guru, fur mama, teacher, faith-based, CEO of Happy Healthy Humble LLC. Okay? When I go to their page, I know who they are in the top three to five things. Now, I have things in common with these other coaches. Some of us all put that we're a dog mom. I put dog mom with, like, the hot dog and the dog paw. She put fur mama. Natalie has um, dog mom here, right? So we're saying the same thing, but we're all going to depict it in a different way. So you don't have to think like, oh, well, she already has that, or you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Who you are is who you are. Okay. 
Um, but I would suggest that you pick the top three to five things, you guys. Now, what's helpful with this, and also if you went to, I didn't like uh, give you the snippet of the first nine or 12 pictures they have, but the reason I picked these ladies is that if I did one quick scroll, the first nine to 12 photos that I see on their grid are, I will see every one of these things. I could test you right now. If you went to Amy Rada's page, you would see fitness. You would see clean eating. You would see her dog. You would see, um, you know, her faith being um, lived out in her words. You would see that she is a teacher by trade. Ashley Mills said, if I went to her page, I would see fitness. I would know that she is a new mom. I know that she likes to party because you're going to see beer in her pictures. You're going to see little like party floats at the beach and whatnot. Um, Courtney Dunker, you're going to see that she's a basketball wife. You're going to see her love of Jesus. You're going to see all of these things in her. Same thing with Natalie, same thing with myself. And that's where the disconnect was happening. I looked at this coach's profile and I said, you have an, you have an awesome bio, but you're not posting about any of that stuff. And I've done the same little trick since I noticed that about her. I've gone to some other coaches on Inspire Beauty and I've done the same test. And it's my disservice in leadership that I'm not teaching you this early on enough in your business to know how much that matters, you guys. It matters so bad because you might, you might have a really great, you know, weekend with your friends, but if it has nothing to do with the three to five things that you shared about as a human being that you're going to, like your brand that you're going to display, then it's not worthy of a post on your Instagram feed. Okay. So this is, that's your like GPS to do I post this or do I not post this? There were a lot of things in my business, like at the very beginning, I used to, you might not know this about me, but I used to be like an avid basketball lover, like freaking, I could watch sport and tell you everything about it and like everything, right? Miami Heat, like Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, like when they were all there together, insane, right? I used to post a lot about basketball and that was a big part of my brand. Imagine if I posted about a basketball game today. I think I'd throw people off. Like what? Like she is, what are you talking about, Brittany? Now I could weave it into maybe something that's already going on in my life now, but it's got to stay in alignment with my brand. And so this is, you know, I, I told her you haven't like when you're stuck, like when I'm stuck and I'm like, I don't know what to post about. Okay. I could post about Frankie. I could, I could get him in shot somehow. I don't know what to post about. Post about your scripture that you read this morning. I don't know what to post about. Post about something with your, with your marriage and things you're learning as a wife, as a newlywed. Okay. I don't know what to post about. Uh, I love self-care. So I could post about, you know, a variety of self-care things, right? So you're, when you're, when you say that you don't know what to post about, or you're struggling with posting, you guys, posting like a boss means that you have a place of reference that everything comes from. And then everything else just doesn't really matter for this particular platform. There are things that like, my mom's birthday was last week, for example. I didn't share about it on Instagram because unfortunately we told all our moms to get on Facebook and then we all left them there hanging. <laughs> Am I right? Like we were like, mom, get on Facebook. It's so cool. And then we're like, okay, bye mom. I'm on, I'm on Instagram now. And so our moms were just sitting there like wondering where we went. But I shared on my Facebook personal page that it was my mom's birthday. That was so appropriate for that spot, right? It wasn't maybe as appropriate for my Instagram feed, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing that check. Like, is this something I should post here? What should I post about? Okay. A couple other things that I've noticed on some of these pages that I would love to see on everyone's on our team. There is a way to get a hold of them or involved in what they offer. So for example, I have a link tree. So does Natalie. So does Amy. So does Ashley. Um, so does Courtney, actually. Every single person on here has a link tree. You could do a link tree. You could just have it do, be a bit.ly, and it takes you to a specific um, application. Maybe sometimes people have their, uh, blah, blah, blah. let's see, some people, oh, mm, no, because they're all here. We all have email on our bottom thing. So if somebody wants to email us, there's access, if you can see, because of the type of profile we have, Yeah. Um, but there's a way to get a hold of the person or involved in what they have to offer. If you don't have a link right now, man, like how are you directing anybody to anything? You've got to have somewhere to take people, right? Because if somebody says, oh my gosh, I want, I totally want more information. Oh my gosh, I'd love to give you some. Do me a favor and click the link in my bio. It's going to take you to just a quick questionnaire. And what that'll do is it'll help get you to the top of my inbox so that I can, so that we can take this to email and I can go back and forth with you. 
super easy, you guys, right? Um, so it's important that you have a link in your bio. Highlights, you guys, help me hone in on the best of them. So for example, like my recipes that are like the best of the best of the best go under my highlights on my story highlights okay and if you notice all of these people who have very successful cohesive looking pages all have story highlights so if you don't have story highlights i want you to research how to make those and get that on your page and start plugging in the best of you right it doesn't you don't have to make like if you notice all of my categories have a space for my story and the same thing like um do, 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 do. Hers are a little different. She talks about her journey to conceive, her faith, fashion, Japan life. Uh, so that goes right along with everything she talks about here. Same thing, favorites, health, faith, moose, that's her dog, fitness. Um, that all goes in alignment with everything that's on her list. And same thing here with Natalie, that she's got the coach life, boy mom, dog mom, food, fitness. Um, it all is in alignment with her bio. And then I want you to notice really quick, you guys, a couple things about their pictures here. When someone's story is active, meaning they have posted a story in the last 24 hours, it has a like Instagram uh, ombre ring around it, that pink, red, orange sunset color. So if you notice, every person that I picked, and I picked these today at about 3 p.m., okay? You see the time on my cell phone when I took the screenshot. All of them have active stories. If I went to your page right now, would you have active stories going? More importantly than posting on your page is to have stories going at all times, okay? And if you're like, Brittany, I just don't know what to do in my story. Wash, rinse, repeat. Same thing with your page. Dog mom, pizza and wine lover, Jesus and coffee obsessed, married to Charles, self-care sister. These are all the things you're gonna see on my story on repeat every single day. Guys, it's like I get blue in the face at how many times I post that. But the thing is, you're, if you're constantly bringing new people into your pipeline and new people into your Instagram, it's never going to get old for them, right? And if it's old for somebody who's staring at it watching, well, then it's time for them to join you. Honestly, that's my opinion on it, right? So it's important, you guys, that you are kind of like a broken record. You're like, well, I just posted the other day about my, my workout. Okay, post about it again. That's what your brand is, yeah? And then notice also that their thumbnail is their face or a very clear picture where I can tell who they are. I can tell exactly who this person is. I don't have to guess. I don't have to get out like binoculars to see. It's very clear. So I believe that posting like a boss, you guys, starts here in your bio. If you have a bio that laser focuses who you are, what you're about, and, um, and people can get a hold of you, they know like, they know your story based on your best three to five things, right? And they can like, they, they are attracted to you, meaning like they can see your face, they can trust you, all that good stuff. Man, you're going to be able to then post so much better. But you're also going to be able to be so much more authentic in your delivery of information and invitations and just overall conversations because it is very clear who you are and what you're about on Instagram, right? So when people talk to you, that's what you talk back to them about. Exactly that. So anyway, I felt like, um, I felt like we were potentially over complicating this area and it's not that complicated. You guys, it's literally that simple. And there's just some mild tweaks. I think we could absolutely do <laughs> to make it that much better for us. I see Natalie needs purple. Yes, Natalie, you do. I would have given you that. I would, I would definitely agree with that critique. <laughs> I didn't put Natalie on blast so we could all critique her guys. <laughs> I did it because she's rocking it. Um, no, she she is a, a good young grasshopper. She listens um, and then takes like takes the bull by the horns, I guess, and runs with it for her own. But I want to see you guys do that too. So if you're looking at yours and you're like, it doesn't have to look like every other coach either, you guys. It doesn't have to, you know, like, I don't want to look like everybody else. I want to look like my own thing. Yeah, but there are some things that you need to give people so that when they get to your page, I always joke with Charlie, and I'm pretty sure it's still the same. Um, let me see if I can find him real quick on Instagram. Nope, he changed it. He took my advice, you guys. For the longest time, I don't know when he switched this, but now it, he's got like a little mantra. It says love, present, achieve. Anyway, that's like his little mantra. It goes off every day at 7.05 a.m. And I think at another time, but then he has emojis about like what he's all about. Trumpet, cycling, and then food and tacos. Um, but... 
it's funny because for the longest time, Charlie's bio said, I like, I like food and music. And like, even after we got married, you guys, that's what it said. And I was like, babe, like, can you like not be a 22 year old bachelor? Like, <laughs> get a life. Like, so if somebody goes to your page and they know that you like music and food, well, that's cool, I guess. Um, that's awesome. But then that's what you post about. And the thing is, and what I, where I was making fun of him a lot was like, he, that's not what he was even just posting about. He had stuff that wasn't food and music. So I'm like, you gotta like give us who you really are, you know? Um, so yeah, anyway, that's it. That's all I got for tonight. Hoping that some of that helps, helps y'all. You guys can unmute if you have questions. I know for me, it definitely helps because I don't think about my bio in Instagram, even though I know I look at other people's, I mean, I'm constantly looking at everybody on my teams, you know, to see what theirs says, what little snippets they have. And I think what, which is going to sound so silly is I struggle with what my jam is. You know, I struggle with my my identification um and I don't know why because that seems so silly you know I, I you were spot on when you said when we look at yours we see stuff about fitness we see uh Frankie we see you and Charlie when you're out doing stuff um we see you with a cup of coffee I mean we see those types of things so I'm starting to kind of think of some of those things, but I never looked at it that way. And I don't know why. Yeah, I think we overcomplicate it, you know, and Leah, the best, uh, best thing I could tell you to do is ask the people closest to you, hey, what are like three things that like, you would say this is totally Leah, you know, and then ask that to a couple of different people that you trust and, um, and see if there's any overlap and see if there's any that mesh together, right? Like, you know, I talk about the pizza and the wine lover, but then I also say self care and with the self care kind of meshes in like, like I love bath bombs, but that's not one of the bullets on there. And I no longer have a bath in this new house, which is a shame you guys, but I digress. Um, but like bath bombs are a big deal, but like that can go under self care. You know what I mean? And so like finding ways too, that you can kind of weave some of the things in as well. Lindsay, you said, this is super great. I'm always like, Oh, what a post literally guys broken record. You're making it harder than it has to be. And if you go more than nine posts without seeing anything of your brand, like reevaluate what you're talking about or reevaluate your brand. I don't know. Okay. That is it. And it says less than a minute. If anyone else needs to say anything. Um, let's get a picture in real quick though. Okay. Oh, Lindsay, are you, are you blocking the man right now? I know. <laughs> I love that color on you though. It's so pretty. All right. Three, two, one, cheese. Yay. Anybody, any last things before we get kicked off? Thank you for that. I like that we, we stick to our bio. That's like really good. And it helps cut down on the stress thoughts. Yeah, that's very helpful. Good. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right, ladies, have a fabulous evening. Thanks so much. Good night, ladies.